this video was low-key filmed like four weeks ago now um and i just kind of haven't gotten around to editing and if i talk about anything that like happened it happened actually like four weeks ago so okay enjoy the video okay. all ready It's almost 8.30 right now. I'm gonna bring you guys along with my like get unready routine, night routine. This is gonna be pretty realistic, so don't judge, okay? It's not gonna be very like, make a very healthy dinner and I go to bed by 9 p.m. Like it's not gonna be like that. This is pretty much what I do every single night. I am still working. I started working at like 8 a.m. I've just been kind of editing all day, checking emails, making sure sponsorships are going smoothly, checking like my Amazon storefront, my shop, my, all all that fun jazz. I didn't really get a chance to straighten up today. I do not like going to bed when stuff isn't clean. So we're definitely gonna be straightening up in a few minutes here. Tyler's actually doing the dishes. I hate doing the dishes, but I also like can't do the dishes because I low-key almost chopped my finger off yesterday. I ordered a bunch of new nail stuff for my nail desk. I need to revamp it. I'm gonna be making a video on my nail organization and all of that, and I'm very excited. I went to go open the first box, and you know how you're supposed to cut away from you? Yeah, I did. I cut away from me but I had this really sharp box cutter knife so and this one's like legit like the blade is very very sharp so I'm holding the box so I go like this and I somehow like my hand slips holding the box and I'm going like this with box cutter at the same time and I just slice my finger instantly starts squirting blood out sorry if you're squeamish you might want to uh, skip this part so i instantly like run over to the sink holding my finger also tyler's at work at this time i don't have my license yet okay i'm working on it i have the driver's license test scheduled but uh no car i've never broken a bone i have never cut myself badly in my entire life this was like an instant oh shit i'm gonna need stitches type of cut and i instantly started having like a panic attack Blood was just like coming out of it. I call Tyler even though he's at work, but he's like five minutes away, doesn't answer. Kind of figured that, cause he's at work. I call my mom. She's also at work, but she usually answers my phone calls. Yeah, she didn't answer. I, I call my dad and he answered. Like, I don't know what to do. I think it might need stitches. And he was like, oh, okay. But he couldn't come and get me cause then my brother wouldn't have anyone to pick him up from school. So then my mom called and then she was talking to me. And then we kind of figured out that I didn't really need stitches. But the one thing that was scary is it just, it wouldn't stop freaking bleeding and I instantly ordered new skin like when I was on the phone with my mom I got the wrong new skin I got like a spray version that wasn't strong enough for this cut I just cut my finger <laughs> I was freaking out I ordered some new skin so hopefully I don't need stitches Ooh. Probably should have went and got stitches because it keeps opening back up, but it's too late now because I think you can only get stitches like 24 hours after you do it. But it's okay, and I'm just praying it doesn't get infected. I've been disinfecting it. I've been taking very good care of it. Me right now, five weeks later, and it's like completely healed, and there's a little scar you can't see on here, but... Yeah, didn't get infected. I just kind of needed to explain it because this is kind of extreme. I have new skin on it now and I was bawling my eyes out because didn't know new skin was gonna hurt that bad. If you've never used new skin before, man, does that stuff sting really, really bad. This is what we're gonna look like in this video. Anyways, I'm just finishing up editing this video. I'm gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow. Tonight was one of those nights where I did not want to cook food. Our kitchen's kind of a mess right now and I need to clean that up and I hate cooking in a messy kitchen. So tonight was the night where we ordered ordered food this week because I was like, I don't want to mess with it. So we ordered canes and I've just been eating that while editing. And that's pretty realistic for me. I will kind of just like sit here all day and edit on my computer trying to get videos out because it quite literally takes me like three to five whole days to edit one video, especially if it's a longer video. Like my last video was six hours of footage. So it kind of took a fat minute. Around like six, me and Tyler went out. We had to run a few errands. We had to get like dishwasher pods. I went to Ulta because I wanted to get a few makeup items for a video and that's why I like look presentable. Usually I'm wearing like sweats and a hoodie because um I can't be bothered to get dressed every single day when I'm just gonna stay home all day. I put an oil mask in and yeah I'm wearing a tight hairstyle and I know I literally have like preached to not do this but hey I needed to go out to get a few things and I didn't want to do braids. Look at how good the bun looks though. This bun is amazing but I'm probably gonna 
edit a little bit more even though I should stop and start getting going on the night routine so I can go to bed at a decent time. I would rather just get this video done now. Every single night I always write my to-do list for the next morning so then I just kind of know my plan for the next day so that's what I'm doing right here. Trying to put an outfit together. Try on like 20 different outfits. Then at the end of every single day, I just have a bunch of clean clothes that were on hangers and folded up just everywhere around the bedroom. So I kind of need to put like clothes away every single night. I'm gonna go get my headphones and just like knock out this cleaning. I get this shit done quick because I just wanna take a shower and do self care and lay around and watch Gilmore Girls. But I can't happily do that until everything is clean because I'll just be anxious the whole time I'm sitting down watching TV and not actually relaxing. And then I'll be thinking about it every single second when I'm laying down to go to bed and then I'll be laying there for like three hours just overthinking and then I'll wake up late tomorrow and then I will already be waking up late and then I just won't want to clean even more because then I'm just depressed. It's a chain reaction if I fall asleep with the house messy and yes I know I sound delusional but this is just how my brain works. It's kind of not okay. My absolute favorite song right now is Strangers by Kenya Grace. There is serotonin in the song I'm telling you. Take my hair out. I'm definitely a night shower person. I just get like grossed out even thinking about going to bed without taking a shower. All the day dirt is going into your bed and like that. It just grows me. I also do that because I hate taking makeup off and brushing my teeth in the sink because water gets everywhere. It's just so much easier in the shower because like you can just, you know, do it. It's 9.39 right now. So it's actually not too bad. I thought it was gonna be later by now, but I like got cleaning done quick. I have the lights in my apartment where I can change it all on my phone. I have bright lights right here right now, obviously for the video, but at nighttime during this time, I put on orange lights because I feel like it's so much softer on my eyes. I also am about to go around the entire apartment. I'm gonna light all my candles because at nighttime, especially during fall, I just want everything to smell like cinnamon and apples and warm and happiness so if I light them before my shower when I get out of my shower it's just so cozy and nice and then I'm clean the whole apartment's clean it's just great I try not to wash my hair at nighttime because then it can be like damp and wet for when I go to bed and that's like really bad for your hair a lot of times this is just how it works out and I mean what are you gonna do and I'm totally not gonna blow dry my hair tonight this is just gonna be like a normal like 10 minute shower I'm just gonna do everything super quick because that's usually what I do on nights like this I just shampoo twice condition wash my face body done also you can't take a shower at night without having music on I exfoliated my face because tonight in my skin cycling routine is exfoliation night. This one I went the Dermalogica microfoliant because I had like a bunch of roughness and texture on my nose right here and right here. And now our skin is prepped and ready for products. I'm gonna be trying something new. Okay, I low-key like took it out in the car to see what it felt like because I was 
very anxious to try it. I got the new face thing. Pretty much this gives you a facelift in five minutes and the videos I've seen are absolutely insane. It says to apply like a generous amount of this stuff. I'm gonna be doing my jaw and my cheek on this side and then we're gonna move on to the eyebrow but we're only doing one side so we can actually see if there's a difference. Everyone says to go like really slow. Okay, the fact that I can already see a difference is kind of freaking insane. I kind of think half of these tools are bullshit but the amount of videos I've seen, people will do it and it looks like they're like sucking in their cheek but then they'll talk and it's like they're not sucking in their cheek. Can you see how much slimmer that side is? Okay, that is absolutely... That side is like very obviously more slim. That is freaking insane. This side is definitely a little higher up than the other side. It's not as intense as some of the videos I've seen, but maybe that's because I'm using the mini one. I'm just wiping that stuff off. Now I'm gonna brush my hair. I have no detangler in or anything, and this brush went viral on TikTok for being like the best detangling brush ever. I thought it was complete BS because it was going viral on the TikTok shop. I feel like it's just a normal detangling brush and people are just saying this so that people will buy it and they'll make commission. Like I didn't think it could be that amazing. This is it, it's the unbrush. I did a video on it on TikTok and you can go see my like real first reaction to it, but this is the new brush that I use on my wet hair. Like I do not touch any other brush in my hair. So I'm gonna show you. Obviously we all know you're supposed to start from the ends up, but I just wanna show you how good the brush is. Literally done. Done. I have never had a brush that does this so easily. And it's not like ripping my hair because a lot of detangler brushes, if you just go in with them without starting at the bottoms, it'll just like rip your hair. I genuinely like don't understand why it's so good. People say it's because the bristles are so far apart from each other, but it just, it doesn't make sense to me. Also, it doesn't pull out like any hair. It's just great. Going in with some leave-in conditioner and then hair oil. You know, this whole finger thing really sucks because guess what I was going to do the day that I cut my finger? I was literally going to film a fall nails video. And like I said earlier, I just ordered a bunch of new nail stuff. A lot of it's organization stuff for my desk, but I ordered like a bunch of new stuff because a prees, a prey, However you say it, everyone gets mad at me that I say a breeze. But a prey came out with a bunch of new gel -X nails, like new shapes. Like they finally freaking came out with like extra long almonds. And now I'm not gonna have to do long stilettos and cut them into almonds and shape them. I'm just gonna finally be able to use them and not have to shape them. So it's gonna make the process so much quicker. I'm taking a scalp serum because we are trying to grow out our hair. I don't wanna spoil too much of the video but pretty much I'm documenting my hair's length and it's been almost a month So I checked how much my hair has grown and my hair hasn't grown at all in a month when I saw that I was Absolutely appalled and very defeated because I've been doing rosemary oil treatments two to three times a week and taking sure really good care of my hair But the one thing that's been lacking which is actually like a really big thing is my diet And when I tell you I have been drinking Starbucks like every single day then tea really bad like frappuccinos with a shit ton of sugar in them and I seriously think it's making my hair not grow. I have like a really bad sugar addiction. I kind of have my entire life. Sugary foods is definitely my weakness like chocolate. I literally eat chocolate every single day. I kind of started becoming aware about it after I measured my hair and I was like oh how much sugar I intake a day. Anyways I've realized that it's an issue so I'm fixing it. A couple things that slow hair growth down are dairy and sugar and like greasy foods and stuff like that so if you're not eating healthy like it can make your hair grow slower and I know these things anyways the takeaway from this is that diet and your nutrition and stuff is probably the most important in hair care no matter how many scalp massages you're doing oil masks if you're eating foods that are like really bad for you and bad for hair growth then your hair is not gonna grow I've been doing scalp massages every single day and 
scalp oil masks two to three times a week. And before I was drinking Starbucks every day, my hair was growing like two inches a month because that's like the most my hair can grow a month. And um, zero, zero inches. Who would have thought that the things you put in your body actually affect like your hair, right? But now that I'm limiting my sugar intake, all I can think about is wanting to freaking eat chocolate. And I've limited myself to having Starbucks only on Saturdays. I think that's pretty good from going every single day having one. Also, I kind of like found out how much money I spent on Starbucks in a month a little while back and it's like really embarrassing. It's hundreds of dollars and I'm not even gonna say how much it is because it's actually really embarrassing. I kinda need to get my life together with like eating better but I just, every single time I try to do it, it just never works out. It goes good for a week and then a week after I'm like, this is horrible, I hate this. I just wanna eat chocolate. But you know, at this rate, I'm gonna die before I'm 30 <laughs> so <laughs> I really need to get it together. Get together. But I will say the last few weeks I've actually gotten way better at drinking water so I drink like almost three of these a day and I would go two days without drinking any water. So that was a normal thing for me. I don't know what it is. I do not thirst for water and I looked it up yesterday and it Loki had some scary answers on there but one of the things on there was having like mental disorders so I don't know is that like a thing if you have like anxiety disorders and depression does that make you not want to drink water so I quite literally have like a timer for 10 a.m 11 a.m 12 p.m 1 p.m 2 p.m they're all the way throughout the day saying in all caps drink water and I've been doing that for like a week now now I'm thirsty for water I'm really out here trying to get a freaking thumbnail without this in it. Some Vaseline. I always drown my freaking lips in Vaseline before I go to bed. And then going in with eyelash serum. And this is the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. I do only use it on my lashes. And I recently switched to this one. Well, actually not recently. I've been using it for like, I think over a month now. And it's like way better than I expected because a lot of like clean brands or things that are like more natural don't work. And I fully expected this to not work. It made my eyelashes look a million times healthier. And I actually put it on my actual eyelashes as well because it's low-key really conditioning. My eyelashes are so much thicker and finally like got a little bit longer. And I already explained in another video that I stopped using the ground eyelash because it kind of like stopped working and my lashes weren't growing anymore. But 10 out of 10, definitely recommend for this one. I have seen some people say it doesn't work. So maybe it's like a person to person thing. So far I've had great results and it doesn't sting at all if it gets like in your eyes by accident. It's time to get in comfy clothes. shirt shorts i don't know how people wear pants to bed when we went to mammoth up in the snow i still was wearing shorts to bed i can't stand it when like pants like roll up your legs under the blankets when you're sleeping it drives me insane i think it's like a sensory thing but i think i'm gonna go and get some tea because i really like having tea at night time it helps like calm me down but at this point <sighs> I just like take some deep breaths, decompress from the day. Even if I like don't do anything all day, I am always just like mentally exhausted because you know, I got a lot of stuff going on in my brain. You know I don't have like the best routine, like I'm totally gonna go and watch TV for an hour and edit in bed. Not good for the REM cycle and sleeping, but I've tried to get a good routine down by not like putting TV on at nighttime. The one thing that I don't really do at night though is I don't go on social media. I don't go on social media that much in general anymore when six o'clock hits i don't really go on social media after that that's something i'm actually like really really good at it took a long time to get good at it but now i'm like for sure good at because like say i like was looking at youtube comments or something and then i saw like a super negative one then I, when i lay down to go to bed i'm only going to be thinking about that and then i'm gonna get super anxious from it because that's just what i do and if i just don't look at social media at all then i 
like, I don't know. People could be saying anything, but it's like I don't know what they're saying, so I have nothing to think about. I'm gonna go make sure everything is locked, because I have to, you know, really be positive that everything is locked up, because I'm terrified of, like, waking up in the middle of the night and, like, a creepy man, like, standing over me and, like, gonna stab me in my sleep. I've watched, I've watched way, way too, too much, much true, true crime, crime, and I just, like, think I'm gonna be murdered all the time. Also, if you're a girl and you live alone, you should get one of these. They're great. Just put it on your door and, like, kick it in the place. Like, somehow, if someone unlocked your door, they still, like, wouldn't be able to get in. shown it in my YouTube videos before but I have like an insane mug collection. I've been collecting mugs for a while. I just recently got this one and it has a ghost on it and it's almost spooky season so we're gonna use this one. My all-time favorite tea is spearmint tea and I saw a video that said that this makes your boobs grow and I'm pissed because I don't want my boobs to grow anymore. I want them to shrink and but I'm not gonna stop drinking my spearmint tea. pretty much dry it's just a little damp like in here i'm gonna put it in a braid and this is like my go-to night hairstyle i have a silk pillowcase so i don't really need to wear my silk cap but if i wasn't doing a braid and i had like a blowout done i would be throwing it in a silk cap right now i'm trying to get better at it but i am an avid night snacker like instantly when i sit in the bed my stomach is like growling i'm having some chocolate rice cakes this is one of my favorite snacks of all time and i'm honestly going to sit here drink my tea snacks relax watch gilmore girls and probably edit on my computer for like another hour it's 12 a.m right now and i'm not tired at all and i probably should just turn everything off and lay down but that's not realistic and i never do that so and now you are here with jess Chris likes jess yeah don't have anyone over to I don't know if you like the way I put my words together But I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers Or like birds of scales hand to hand